Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. Thanks to Policy Genius for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. If you haven't figured it out yet, this channel is about helping you become the best version of your financial self possible. That focus has primarily been on building streams of income along with moving your wealth needle as much as possible in a positive direction. This channel is not about saving $2.74 a month by turning down the thermostat two degrees or turning your ceiling fan on reverse to save money on the heating bill. Uh, yes, these are real recommendations from financial influencers with very large audiences. Uh, so in today's video, I wanted to touch base on the six levels of wealth, which we'll talk about here in a second, um, building your financial wealth and also your financial journey. Uh, so I highly recommend that you stay to the end of the video, but if you've been watching this channel for any extended period of time, you already know that the ending is the best part. Uh, so click the like button, uh, share this video with a friend. It's going to be very enlightening, I promise. Let's get into it. This is a chart created by my friend Nick Majuli from ofdollarsanddata.com. These six levels of wealth, which you see right here, I'll explain later, uh, they're going to help put things into perspective for you where you stand in your wealth journey. Obviously, different people have different goals, life situations, and aspirations. However, I think that this is a really good chart to study if you're looking to build any significant wealth and how it will impact your life and potentially others, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. Uh, Nick brings up the data point uh, that 0.01% is a good measuring stick for what makes up a trivial amount of money for any level of wealth. So in plain English, depending on your net worth, 0.01% is something that shouldn't impact your finances in the slightest bit. So for example, if your net worth was 10 grand down here, uh, paying $1 for something shouldn't affect your financial situation at all. Obviously, life situations matter very much. As I mentioned earlier, $1 million to a young bachelor living in Miami is much different than $1 million to a retired couple, which is much different than a 35-year-old couple with a mortgage and three kids that still need to go to college. Uh, so let's keep these things in perspective and let's go over these levels of wealth and really think about this. Okay, so these six levels of wealth, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, uh, one will be down here. Uh, so level one is actually the paycheck to paycheck level. Uh, so you're basically down here, okay? You're in the very first step. Your net worth is less than 10 grand. Uh, actually, these people are usually very much in debt. Um, so we're talking about every single dollar and every single cent that we spend, we're really looking at because our liquid net worth is so low. So these are the people that should be making coffee at home, uh, turning down the thermostat, trying to save money wherever possible. Think of this as like your Dave Ramsey audience, right? But now we start to get into level two, which is what we call grocery freedom. Okay, so if you can read this, this says groceries. So this is where your net worth allows you to purchase pretty much whatever you want at the grocery store without it affecting your finances. So I'm not talking about buying, you know, $100 bottles of wine, but regular everyday items that you can splurge on. So like nicer cheeses, if that's your thing, organic food, etc. cetera. Uh, again, a trip to the grocery store is not gonna affect your overall financial situation in level two. Uh, so let me label this two, even though you can see it right here on the chart in the y-axis. So level three right here, is what we call restaurant restaurant freedom. So you're restaurant free. This is my favorite level and my true definition of wealth, okay? This is being able to go to a restaurant and order whatever you want off the menu without thinking about the price. So a perfect example is of my childhood. So my parents are old school immigrants and we would rarely eat out at restaurants growing up. Uh, we would essentially go out just for birthdays and smaller celebrations, so only a few times per year. We never really ordered appetizers, pretty much just entrees, and we never even thought about ordering the more expensive items on the menu. Uh, fast forward to 2022, and I'm out here eating steak and lobster without a second thought. Let's go, baby, medium rare, come on. Uh, why? Because I'm well past this level of uh, liquid net worth, and it doesn't really make a dent in my finances. So I, I need to explain this x-axis here if you can't see it. 10 grand, 100 grand, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million. Okay, level one, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, level four, which we have right here, is travel freedom. Okay, this one's very, very, very important because it gives you perspective on how the world works. So this is being able to travel when you want, how you want, where you want. 
This is where most Americans fall short, in my opinion. They don't travel outside of the continent, let alone outside of the United States. And no, uh, your all-inclusive vacation on a gated plantation in the middle of a third world country doesn't count as traveling, by the way. Uh, when I say travel, I'm talking about being fully immersed in a different culture where you can actually learn about how other people live around the world. True traveling, in my opinion, is having a 7 to 15% chance of getting robbed or kidnapped, okay? Now we're talking. Uh, there's nothing worse than the person who has never been anywhere uh, with an opinion on everything. Let me repeat that. There's nothing worse than a person that's never been anywhere with an opinion on everything. The more you have traveled the world, the more I respect and appreciate your opinion. This is the level that uh, my wife and I are currently at, but even now I still don't go crazy with travel spending even though I realistically could afford it. Uh, but before we get into levels five and six, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Policy Genius, so that I can continue to climb the wealth ladder on their dime. Thanks, Policy Genius. If someone in your life relies on your financial support, whether it's a child, aging parent, or even a business partner, you need life insurance. Life insurance can give you peace of mind that if something happens to you, your loved ones would have a financial cushion to pay for things like rent, mortgage payments, loans, education costs, and everyday expenses. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop for finding and buying the insurance that you need, and getting started is easy. Click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash whiteboard finance and answer a few questions about yourself. In minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find the lowest price and coverage that you need. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Their team of licensed experts will help you understand your options and ensure you apply for the right policy. Policy Genius works for you, not the insurance companies, so you can trust them to offer unbiased advice and help you navigate every step of the shopping and buying process. When you're ready to apply, the Policy Genius team will handle the paperwork and scheduling for free. Head to policygenius.com slash whiteboard finance to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. Okay, thank you for watching that commercial allowing me to increase my net worth. I appreciate it. So level five, <laughs> level five is house freedom, okay? Five, just look at the y-axis. Level, uh, level five is house freedom. Let me label this, sorry. Uh, this is the level where you can truly afford your dream home without it affecting your finances greatly. Obviously, this is a huge range as some of my audience lives in the Midwest where housing is cheap. Uh, some people live on the coast where housing is more expensive. The point is, if you have a liquid net worth of $10 million, you'll be able to afford a very comfortable home. You could summarize this level as home prices matter less or home prices kind of don't matter. And then finally, what we have here is level six, my friends. And this is where you uh, give it away. I'll call this the philanthropy, okay? So level six is the most important level. Level six is literally the entire reason why I started this channel as I hope to get here one day and I hope that you are able to as well. Level six is philanthropic freedom. You can give away money that has a very large impact on others and is essentially the ability to change people's lives for the better. So uh, when I look at certain uh, athletes or business people, the ones that I respect the most are the ones that give back. So instead of the Novak Djokovic Foundation, which has given away millions of dollars to charity, how cool would it be to have your own foundation or charity? How cool would it be to change your community, pay for a playground, open a calisthenics park for people to work out at, uh, donate laptops to kids in need? Uh, this is why building wealth is cool, because at the end of the day, you can give it away. So um, basically, what I'm trying to summarize here is, when you look at the, the, the metric that Nick provides, 0.01%, it really does start to make sense. Obviously, everyone's life situation is different, which we talked about. But the goal of building wealth is not to be some cheap you know, miser that just you know, hoards money away and lives to make money and is very leisureless or doesn't travel, doesn't experience anything. You can be you know, the farmer in Kansas that's never been anywhere, never done anything, but has $4 million net worth. Big whoop, what have you done? Nothing, you know, who cares? So anyway, my point is, as you climb this ladder, it creates you, it, it creates better character for you. It gives you bigger perspective. So my, my thing that I'm tra uh, passionate about is traveling. So imagine like the horse with the blinders on. The horse with the blinders on is the horse that has never left their hometown. They've never been anywhere, never seen anything, that don't know how other cultures live. And the more you travel, the more those blinders get lifted. So travel is important. House is whatever. That's just a metric. A house is a house. Um, but 
Level six, uh, philanthropy, in my personal opinion, is very, very important because you can just give it away. Um, it's not even about legacy building or like the Marco wing of the cancer center, you know, stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't care about stuff like that. I'm talking about bettering your community through providing things that they don't have. So if kids don't have a laptop or don't have the opportunity to have a laptop, that can open up a bajillion doors for them through entrepreneurship, education, you know, the internet, you name it. So I think number six is very important. Uh, my wife and I are somewhere around here. We're like 4.5-ish, uh, I guess. Um, but I'm still just a regular dude. So don't let any of this stuff change you as well is what I want to leave you with. So I know that was more of preachy at the end, um, but I hope you got value in the first part of the video as well as the end. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a prosperous day. Uh, hello? Who is this, uh, Policy Genius? Yeah, hold on, let me, uh, yeah, I just integrated the last um, commercial in the video. So what are we doing per ad now? Oh, okay, all right, thank you. All right, have a good day, bye.